Hi, my name is Neil Nedney. I'm 89 years of age, still enjoying life, including riding my bike. And uh, however, during the, the 89 years, there uh, have been a few challenges along the way. I grew up in the bush in northeastern Victoria, a great life, went barefoot to school for six years. I, my parents, I was an only child, my parents, they, would, um, they wouldn't belt me, but if they thought I'd done something wrong, they'd lecture me for a couple of days and I used to hate it. But despite that, things went pretty good. I went well at school. I was um, ducks of the school at Caulfield, the final year. That's top student. However, there were things in my life that weren't working out right and I knew I needed Jesus. Mum was involved in a group that was religious and so I know a little bit about the Bible, but I was just able to get down on my knees and say, um, Lord, um, Lord Jesus, be merciful to me, a sinner. Now, God knew my heart and things changed and it definitely changed for the better. However, during the next 20 years, <clears throat> I got involved in building a career, got married, built a house, raised a family, got into business, building power lines, even bought an aeroplane at one stage. And in the course of all that, with my background, I finally got to a stage where I got into an anxiety state. I walked off the job, my business, I nearly went broke and uh, I was under a psychiatrist. I was relying on prescribed drugs to cope with life. I couldn't sleep at night without powerful sleeping tablets and started to work out of that, finding that positive thinking and that was a little bit helpful, but not that much. And then through a friend that we really respected and everybody else did too, put in touch with someone who showed, began to show me what the Christian life was really all about. It was not so much practicing a religion and doing things, but it was a relationship with Jesus. And in order to do that, I needed to be honest with him. I confessed to him the things that weren't quite right in my life. He promised to forgive and then just allow him to take control. And so I acted on Don's advice and uh, I uh, really just from memory, just a few things, bad attitudes and the like, and uh, confessed them to God and then said something like, Lord, I realise I've been running my own life and I made a bit of a mess of it and I'm handing it over to you. Well, from that moment on, I didn't need any of the medication or anything else. Uh, God just gave me the strength to cope with what turned out to be the school of hard knocks. I went through about 10 years of really rough stuff. My family walked out on me. I got bad treatment from some leaders that I'd respected. But God gave me the strength to see it through. And I had some wonderful Christian friends to help me through it too, which was great. All the time I was learning more about what it meant to really live the Christian life as a relationship with Jesus and trust him. And then after 30 years in the electricity industry, I resigned my job and joined the mission that I'm still working for today, almost 40 years later. And uh, originally here in Australia, and the following year I was asked to go to Fiji for six months. Spent 22 years in the South Pacific, helping people to uh, learn how to live the abundant Christian life, and learning a lot from their culture as well. Back here in Australia, I'm still involved with the mission, and uh, helping to encourage people to really know Jesus and live the Christian life. It's been a really great life. Oh, by the way, about family, as I mentioned, they walked out on me at one stage and for a while it was pretty rocky. However, uh, about 35 years ago, I decided I wasn't going to tell my family anymore what, what to do. I was just going to let them know that I loved them. I prayed for them, of course. And the end result is today I have excellent relationships with family, especially my two daughters. So it's a great life and I can still keep going. And uh, it's just, uh, I'll just encourage anyone who's listening to my story, if you're not already at trusting in Jesus, then just try it. You'll like it. And we here at the church would just love to help you in that.